Okay, boys and girls, today you are going to make a leaf. And what we're going to do, uh, what I've done before is where you go and you get your leaves and you find them and you press them. Um, a lot of times they don't work as well, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and use a paper stencil, it's kind of a cardstock stencil, and um, I have this really cool slab cutter that I got this year, I'm super excited about. What's going to happen is you're going to have one that's already uh, ready to go for you, and you're going to set it down on your board, and you're going to use these rollers, and you're going to roll, I've already rolled twice here, and then I thought, you know, I need to make a video to show you, and then you very carefully pick it up, turn it the other way, and roll it that way. Now, you don't want to get it super thin, but what you're trying to do is spread it out. Now, I've already done this leaf, so I'm going to do uh, this leaf. I'm going to set it towards the edge, not right in the middle, but make sure that it fits. So that's pretty good. Don't get it all the way on the edge, though, in case you have it where it's rolled really um, little. I'm sorry, really thin. And you're going to take this tool that you have. Now, I have these. I'm not sure if we can use these or not. Uh, this is how I cut mine out. It's very sharp, works great with clay, but I don't want you to hurt yourself, so we might just have to use the toothpicks or these. So I haven't done it with this. Now, you could outline it. When you make your stem, make it wider so it will last. And I'm even coming out wider than the stencil, and I'll show you in a second here. And make your leaf a little bigger if you want, but you want to get it as, you know, still the same shape. So there's the outlining. You can see it on my leaf and I made it bigger. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come back in with one of the tools we had. Like I said, I'm not sure if I want us using the uh, X-Acto knives. And this works fine. We can also use a toothpick. I'm sorry, not a toothpick, a popsicle stick. And if you want, you can do a little bit at a time. And I outlined it with the toothpick. Then I'm going to take this extra stuff and I will reuse this. I will re... Um, need it to be able to use it. And I'm kind of using this at an angle. See how it's kind of thick on one side and thin on the other. And I'm pressing it, kind of cutting it out like if you've ever used Play-Doh before and then take it out. And what you can go back in and do is smooth this in. This is brand new clay so it's really nice. Smooth it in with your hands. Okay. So once you get this all cut Okay, and I needed to have this already ready, but I wanted you to see how to cut it out. I don't know if I have... Oh, I also have these might work better. Yeah, these are thinner. This will probably work a lot better. It's another little kind of ice cream scoop thing. And you go all the way around, as careful as you can. Peel this off. Smooth it out. Okay, and then we will use these again. So now you take this very carefully, take this off with your finger now, and this is when you're going to write your initials on the back, um, and then you're going to turn it over. Now you have to be very careful that you don't break your stem, and turn it back over. Press and smooth that edge. Okay, and then uh, we're going to talk about leaves and how they look, and you're going to come back in with your toothpick and you're going to draw this line and you can put however many veins of the leaf that you want. Um, you can do veins on yours. You can come back in, add as many as you want. You could do a pattern of dots. I'm fine with that as well. And then we are going to fire these in the kiln, which is Luke Claymaster. I'm sorry, Luke Claywalker. <laughs> a student named him last year. So I kind of like the dots in the veins. And then after it's fired, we're going to paint them with watercolors and seal them with Mod Podge. See that one? I got a little bit too deep. Now, that's teachable moment is what I would say in this room. Don't go too deep because you don't want a hole in your leaf. Then you can come back in with these extra tools. You know, maybe make a dash line. You want to do that on your leaf? I'm leaving it up to you. Um, I like you to be creative as you can. Come back in, smooth this around with this hoping that I'm holding it to where you can see it. Um, and then it will need to dry probably about 10 days. So there'll be two classes in between. We'll probably do another uh, class before that. And then um, I will let it just dry on this and then I will very carefully pick them up. 
Um, I will come around or I'll have you place them, but you need to be careful because the problem with clay is it's very fragile. Even after it's fired, it's called a bisque firing, it can still break. So that's our clay leaf project. And here are the two samples. There you go. And you can choose which leaf you want.